26 minutes to 8. Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. Today we start off talking about agriculture. Yes, we're joined by the Minister of Agriculture, Dr. Akimo Miyade Shuna. Thank you for coming on this morning. It's good to see you. Thank you for having me. All right, let us start off with this uh, circular, which is uh, on the 29th of October 2013. There was supposed to be a clear cut demarcation between uh, the frozen fish imported under the old regime and the new one. And then the new one it was supposed to be this, what you refer to as a structured method, but some have misconstrued what that really was for. Tell us about it. Well, first and foremost, let me say that uh, as far as I'm concerned, Nigeria has no business importing a lot of fish. Um, Nigeria has, you know, the ocean. Uh, we've got lakes, creeks, and rivers. We've got everything to produce fish. You know, remember, fish does not grow in sand. Uh, fish grows inside of water, and we've got water in abundance. And we're spending about 127 billion naira importing fish. And some people are even bringing in some of the fish we have, you know, they're bringing in tilapia, for goodness sake, into the, into the country. Uh, and I don't think it makes sense. Um, what we decided to do is that Nigeria has to harness the full potential it has in the fish, both inland fishery, you know, deep sea marine fishery, and aquaculture, and quickly produce a lot of fish you know, so that we can feed our population with nutritious fish. Now, but the fish sector, the fishery sector is actually, it's quite a lot of very fishy business uh, in that uh, particular sector. Uh, first, let me tell you some of the problems. Um, the fish importers uh, bring it, okay, let's say our total consumption of fish. Uh, we consume about 2.3 uh, million uh, metric tons of fish. And we import roughly about um, 1.7, 1.8 million metric tons of fish. Now, well, that's what's declared. Um, when I looked at the numbers, I asked the Federal Fisheries Department to get me how much fish we were actually uh, importing. Their figure shows 1.9 million metric tons of fish. Wow. Well, we asked the importers, the fish importers, how much they were importing. Uh, they declared 1.6 and 1.67 million metric tons of fish. Then I asked the Customs Service, how much fish did they import between 2010 and 2012? Well. 16.3 million metric tons of fish. <coughs> well, that comes to about 5 million metric tons of fish per year. And where, where are the cold rooms in the country to keep that? So obviously, you find a lot of fishy business there. People are under uh, invoicing. They are not paying taxes. You know, and they continue to dump fish on the market, cutting off our own uh, our fishermen and driving them into destitution. And I, wouldn't like, I, I would not let that happen. Um, and worse is that, you know, a guy that's an importer becomes also the retailer. So wow. they sell you fish, and at the same time, they open up a cold room next to you. Because they have oversupply, they drive you out of business. So all the way from Lagos down to the north, they clean out all Nigerians out of the business because of all these uh, 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 bad practices. And so I said, no, I'm not under my watch. That's not, not going to happen. And so what we decided to do is that we'll say, all right, we want to encourage local fishermen and aquaculture. So we've got to reduce the uh, amount of fish we are actually importing. So we give a quarter that will reduce it by 25% over the next four years and encourage domestic production of fish. But here's the problem. People say, oh, well, you know, Honorable Minister, you didn't give us enough allocation for fish. Well, we gave you enough allocation based on what you declared, not based on the subterranean things that you didn't declare. So you cannot expect government to sanction people that are basically cheating the economy. And I won't have any of that. And I know some of them have been saying all kinds of things in the papers. And yeah. Some of them have actually been taking their um, uh, uh, fish off the market just to drive up the price of fish and put the back of uh, government on the wall. They're not going to have their way. You say they're trying to fight back? Well, you know, I mean, if you take a look at, uh, if you're going to get a bone out of a uh, a dog that picks up a bone, sometimes you have to hit the, the dog on the head. Uh, in this particular case, I am not going to allow any importer to turn Nigeria into a dumping ground for fish. That's the first thing. Secondly, is that I'm not going to let anybody fishing on our territorial waters to come into zero to five you know, nautical miles you know, where our artisanal fishermen are fishing and drive them out of business. You know, when they do that, basically, um, they are creating destitution here. You know, they, they, they are creating a lot of poverty here. And, you know, look, uh, poverty is not an industry. We're not going to grow it. And uh, we're going to be very tough on it. Uh, the Fisheries Act 
uh, by the power of the president, uh, section f uh, 15 of it, gives me the authority uh, to actually put a, a, a stop to some of these things. I mean, take a look, you go to some of the, their warehouses, right? You see fish oversupplied, it's not well kept. You know, bad fish is being sold to people, all because people want to make money. And uh, I think the days of fishy business is gone. Those days are gone as far as I'm concerned right now. Well, let's stop, uh, let's use the word ban. Uh, how does that really make business uh, uh, okay or boom for those who are in the business in the country? Are we looking uh, towards uh, helping the fish farmers uh, for those who are not fishing out there on the sea who have their own fish farms individually? Uh, what does well, that translate Well, we didn't uh, ban fish at all. Let me just be very clear. We did not ban the import of fish. All we're doing is we're regulating the import of fish. And by the way, we are the only country in the world that's not regulating the import of fish. So what's the difference now? And so, so basically what we are saying is that we want those that are importing fish to go back into producing fish locally. We've got a whole range of fish species that we can grow here. Aquaculture today is the fastest growing sector you know, in the world, in the fishing industry. Now, the government is doing a lot of things to support farmers in this area. For example, take the growth enhancement scheme, which we use for seeds and fertilizers and all that in the, in the crop sector. For the first time, Mr. President approved for us to run the growth enhancement scheme and begin to give subsidies for farmers, uh, fish, uh, fisher folks in the country. So we're providing them with fishing nets, we're providing them with uh, fish feed, we're providing them with uh, outdoor motorboards and all kind of engines and so on. And we are registering all of our artificial, uh, artisanal fishermen and supporting them massively and get, getting a lot of our youth into aquaculture. Now that's what we've got to do. I mean, you look in this country, you go all the way to the deep south south. We've got, my goodness, we've got water all over that place. And so the job of government is to capitalize and optimize uh, on the available water resources we have. Uh, to make ourselves de uh, less dependent uh, on fish import. We are set a target for ourselves that we will you know, do roughly 2.5 billion you know, uh, uh, juveniles per year. Uh, you know, then we will distribute, uh, I mean, do about 400,000 metric tons of fish feed annually. And our goal is to do about 250,000 metric tons of table-sized fish per year. So that over a four-year period, we can do 1 million metric tons you know, of uh, table-sized fish. Right here, you can imagine what that adds to our own economy. So that's our goal. Because I'm Don't actually looking, sorry, Nyota, because I'm actually looking that if that does happen, uh, we may even have more than enough uh, to the extent that we can start exporting some why, of this. Why not? You know, I, I'm a firm believer that God bless Nigeria for a reason. Uh, we've got tremendous amount of land. We've got massive amount of water. We've got cheap labor. Anything in this country, you throw it up, it comes down, it grows. And so Nigeria ought to be a net export of any, everything. Look, I mean, people talk a lot about other countries exporting fish here. They don't have more abundant resources than we have. We just have to harness our own resources, take pride in what we do. I know sometimes that policies are tough, and top policies tends to be misinterpreted because of those that are rent seekers in the system. But I've always thought about it uh, that it's almost like a dentist. You go to a dentist and you have to take and all that, and you complain all you want, but the dentist has to fix it. And once he finishes fixing it, or she finishes fixing it, you're going to be okay. So sometimes you have to also um, have patience uh, with government policy because these things are designed basically to help us. Now, talking about the fish, just take, for example, we're here in Lagos. Look, look at the Nigerian Trolling Association. Right? The trolling, Nigerian Trolling Association is basically decimated because of sea piracy. Yeah. And, and uh, we used to have about uh, you know, 230 trawlers. Uh, it went down to about 119. Many of them went to Tamale in Ghana. Today we have only 19 functional. You know? and, and yet people come into our territorial waters, uh, several other countries, they bring in all their trawlers, they scoop off everything that we have at the bottom of the sea. Now, that is not 